Today, I want to talk to you about truth, and unfortunately, where to find it. We need to search for truth, and if you really want to find it, it just makes sense that you need to know what you're looking for. <laughs> Here's how Aristotle, a wise old sage of the Greeks who lived around 350 BC, defined truth. Oh wait, I forgot that Aristotle only spoke Greek. That's better. To say of what is that it is not, or what is not that it is, is false. And to say that of what is that it is, and of what is not that it is not, that's true. When Aristotle said that, I hope he spoke slowly, clearly, and concisely. Well, now that you know what the truth is, hopefully we can get to where to find it. I said in episode one that I would not get into politics, and I'm not discussing politics now, but it seems that the idea of truth is swirling around politics these days. So here's my gripe. With the advent of social media, I see a lot of people making statements that I find questionable, and please note that I said questionable, not wrong. Of course, many posts or comments can be tagged as erroneous or untruthful immediately. But if you don't know for sure, you want to validate. The problem is, is that many people make claims that are flat lies, whether they know it or not, without any substantiation at all. Once the post is out there, some will cast doubt on it, but others will take it as a gospel and never question it at all. So the damage is done. My advice, for what it's worth, is simple. If you think the information is false, research it. Don't just call it a lie without backup. That may be as bad as making a false claim in the first place. If someone makes a questionable statement, ask them where they got the information. And if you get an answer such as, why, it's common knowledge, then you're on your own. If you think it's necessary, you'll need to find the answer yourself. Back in the day, we didn't have to go to that much trouble. If Cronkite said it, bank on it. Today, I don't know what's real and what's not. So where do you find the truth today? Okay, we're getting pretty close to politics, but that's today's climate. I've heard doozies on both sides, red and blue, and I want to be as neutral as possible. Now, there are several fact-checking services online, Snopes and PolitiFact, to name two. As for network and cable news, Fox News to the right and the MSNBC to the left. According to the same poll, Lester Holt is the most trusted news anchor. Well, the most trusted network and cable, PBS and the BBC. Well, I'm not pushing right or left, but I know some of you out there will take issue with what I have said. Well, at least I researched it. <laughs>